Are you a coffee drinker? I only drink tea because brewed coffee gives me a stomach ache. However, my husband is a coffee drinker. He enjoys it anytime during the day, even at night. Surprisingly, he can still fall asleep without any issue. And these are the coffee pods he has already consumed in less than a month. Did you know that used coffee grounds can help plants grow? That's one reason why I'm saving these used coffee pods. Another reason is that the pods are perfect for my seedlings. Let me begin by opening the pods and show you what's inside. Here's the ground coffee. It's not much. Well, the pot itself is small. There's a filter underneath the coffee grounds to filter the coffee granules from dripping into the coffee cup. I'll take the coffee filter off and discard it. I don't really need it. Removing the filter provides extra space for the soil. There's a hole at the bottom of the pot where coffee drips. One hole is enough for the seedlings to drain water during watering. I can add more holes if necessary. Coffee grounds are excellent for composting and can be used around most garden plants if done carefully and in small amounts. They contain important nutrients like nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus, which are essential for plant growth and development. These nutrients help plants grow by making their leaves lush and aiding in protein production, which is necessary for plant health Nitrogen, especially, is important for promoting healthy foliage and facilitating the synthesis of proteins which are vital for plant growth. In addition to providing nutrients, coffee grounds also make soil better and help with drainage. Their coarse texture lets air go into compacted soil so water and oxygen can reach plant roots easier. This helps roots grow better and take in more nutrients, which keeps plants healthy and strong. Coffee grounds are a bit acidic, which is good for plants that like acidic soil like hydrangeas, azaleas, rhododendrons, blueberries, and nutrient-hungry plants like roses. This acidity helps these plants grow strong but it's important to check soil pH levels carefully to avoid excessive acidity, which can hurt other plants with different pH needs. A pH level measures how acidic or alkaline something is on a scale from 0 to 14. A pH of 7 is neutral, lower numbers mean it's acidic, and higher numbers means it's alkaline. pH is important for plants because it affects how well they can take in nutrients and grow correctly. So spreading coffee grounds everywhere is not a good idea. Too much coffee grounds near mature plants can slow their growth and weaken their roots. Some of the coffee grounds are still wet. You can tell by the color of the granules. The wet ones are darker than the dry ones. Fresh coffee grounds are more acidic than used ones. They contain high levels of caffeine and acid. Don't use them on seedlings or young plants because caffeine can slow their growth. In my opinion, it's best not to use or waste the fresh coffee grounds Instead, use the fresh grounds for your coffee and give the yeast ones to your plants. It'll benefit both you and your plants.
Remember to avoid using coffee grounds on plants that prefer alkaline soil. Alkaline soil, also known as basic soil, has a pH level higher than 7. It has more minerals like calcium, magnesium, and sodium. This soil is less fertile and can make it difficult for some plants to get nutrients. Plants that prefer acidic soil, like rhododendrons, azaleas, and blueberries might not grow well in alkaline soil. As coffee grounds break down, they add organic material to the soil, making it richer and helping beneficial microorganisms thrive. This organic material stores nutrients, gradually releasing them into the soil. They not only improve soil, but also keep pests away. Some gardeners believe that the rough texture and strong smell of coffee grounds deter common garden pests like slugs, snails, and certain insects. While results are not guaranteed, I think it's worth a try. If, if this really works, this eco-friendly pest control method is a sustainable choice compared to chemical pesticides. You can also make coffee ground tea by adding two cups of used coffee grounds to a five gallon bucket of water. Let it sit for a few hours or overnight this mixture can be used as a liquid fertilizer for garden and container plants or spray dire directly on the leaves and stems of the plants. House plants can benefit from coffee grounds, but some prefer them more than others. Those that thrive in acidic soil like African violets, crotons, gluxenians, Monsteras, peperomias, and philodendrons benefit the most. Avoid using coffee grounds on aloe vera, orchids, and photos plants. Be careful with coffee grounds around dogs because caffeine can harm them. If your dog tends to eat everything, it's better not to spread coffee grounds on the soil surface. Instead, Add them to the compost bin or bury them in the soil. These coffee grounds are still damp. I'll keep the container open until they dry out and constantly stir the grounds at least once or twice a day to air out the ones at the bottom of the container. It is important that the used coffee grounds are completely dry before storing them. Molds can easily develop in wet or damp coffee grounds that are stored. Moldy coffee grounds can introduce harmful pathogens to the soil, potentially harming plants and affecting the gro their growth. It's safer to dispose of moldy coffee grounds rather than risking damage to your plants. can benefit plants when used correctly, particularly as a source of nitrogen and organic matter. But it's important to consider soil acidity, plant requirements, and proper application methods to avoid any problems. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and feel free to share this video with your friends. Your comments would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to click the notification bell to stay updated for new videos. Again, thank you and see you next time. Happy gardening!